On this episode of Kemp Outside, we take a look at campsites 89, 90, 91, 92, and 93 at campground number two at Elijah Clark State Park in Lincolnton, Georgia. Check it out. Hey guys, Kevin here with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today we're going to take a look at some of the campsites in campground number two at Elijah Clark State Park in Lincolnton, Georgia. Elijah Clark State Park is right on Clarks Hill Lake. What a fantastic place to camp, explore, boat, hike, fish, whatever you want to do. Elijah Clark has it all. We did a campground overview video I'm going to put right up here. So if you haven't seen our campground overview video complete with all the amenities of the campground as well as a driving tour, check that out. But let's get right into the campsites. Elijah Clark State Park is located in Lincolnton, Georgia. Lincolnton is on the border between Georgia and South Carolina on Clarks Hill Lake, which is part of the Savannah River. It is easily accessed by Atlanta, Athens, Augusta, and Greenville, South Carolina. Elijah Clark State Park is a large state park. It has the Elijah Clark Homestead, a couple of hiking trails, and of course, fantastic water access at Clarks Hill Lake. There are two campgrounds located in Elijah Clark State Park, Campground 1 and Campground 2, both have great access to Clarks Hill Lake and lots of sites directly on the water. The nearest restroom to the sites we're going to take a look at today is restroom number 8, indicated by the red arrow. Restroom number 8 is a full-service restroom facility with running water, hot showers, flush toilets, and laundry facilities. The first site we're going to take a look at today is site number 89. 89 is a back-end site, and it is a site on the water. As we take a look from the road here, you can see the road access to these sites is pretty narrow, but you should still be able to get an RV or travel trailer in there. And as we pan from the road, you can see there's cabins across the way and that this site is on a little cove. That's the boat ramp there, so you're real close to the boat ramp for this campground. And we're going to walk into Site 89 89 is level. Uh, it's really nice and wide. There's the uh, water and electric and cable TV hookup. We're tent campers, so we did not test the cable TV, so I don't know what channels you get. Beautiful view of the woods out the back of the site. And there's the water in the distance. The site is equipped with a fire pit with grill grate, a hook to hang a lantern, and a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move. That's a look at site 89. The next site we're going to take a look at is site number 90. Site 90 is a back end site and it is on the water. And it's right next to the boat ramp. So site 90 is right next to site 89, which is the last site we looked at. This site is nice and level. It is right next to the boat ramp, as you can see there, so really easy access to the water. You can also pull your boat up behind the site, as the uh, shoreline is pretty sandy. So as we make our way in, you can see there's the water and electric and cable TV hookup. site has a lot of trees for shade. Beautiful view out of the back of the site. As you can see, it is on a cove. And the site is equipped with a picnic table that you can move, a hook to hang a lantern, and a fire pit with grill grate. That's a look at site number 90. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 91. Site 91 is a pull-through site. It's indicated by the red arrow. So here's a look at Site 91 from the road.
So this is a nice wide pull through sight. And though it isn't on the water, it is elevated a little bit so you still get a water view. So as you pull into this site, you can see there's the uh, electric water and cable TV hookup on the left. And on the right is a stone picnic table, a hook to hang a lantern or other gear, and a fire pit with grow grate. Once you get up into this site, it sits level. Gives you a good view of the water. But the uh, entrance into the site and the exit out of the site are a little steep. But this site is set up the right way so that when you set up your camper, you will face the water, which isn't always the case in these sites at this park. As we make our way back down to the road, we'll pan around one more time and take a look at Site 91. It gives you a good idea of how steep it is. Okay, the next site we're going to take a look at is Site 92. 92 is a pull-through site indicated by the red arrow and it is on the water. So we'll take a look at Site 92 from the road. And as you can see, 92 is also right next to the boat ramp. And as we make our way into 92, you can see that it does sit level. As we make our way to the back corner, you can see that there is sandy beach behind the site. You could beach a boat behind this site if you wanted to. site is equipped with a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move, a fire pit with grill grate, and a hook to hang a lantern. On the other side is your cable TV, water, and electric hookup. There's a good view of the sandy beach area there for the boat, if you bring one. Here's a good look at the exit to this site. And that's a look at Site 92. And the last site we're going to take a look at in this video is Site number 93. Site 93 is a pull-through site right on the water, indicated by the red arrow. So again, not too far from the boat ramp. So if you bring a boat with you, you have easy access to the ramp, which is really nice. Beautiful view of the lake in this site. And as we make our way in, you can see there's not really too much to these sites. They're just uh, level pull-throughs that are right on the water. Great little beach area down below the site. Again, suitable for beaching a boat. Not all the sites on the water at Clarks Hill Lake are suitable for beaching a boat. Some of them are very rocky, so you want to be careful with that. Across the way there, you see the water, electric, and TV hookup. The site is equipped with a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move, a hook to hang a lantern, and a fire pit with grill grate. There's the restroom up the hill there in the distance. Here's a look at the exit of Site 93. 
and we'll pan around and take one more look at the site. So that's a look at Site 93 and the sites in this video. So guys, I hope you found that video review useful. One of our goals here at Kemp Outside is to make the largest campsite review database in the United States. We want to make it easier for you to select a campsite when you're going camping. So guys, we are going to run this series every Tuesday until we run out of campsites at Elijah Clark State Park. But guys, we are changing up the way we do our campsite reviews. So stay tuned to Kemp Outside for more information on how we're going to change up our campsite reviews. Guys, I think you're going to really like it. We are going to be able to bring you more campsites faster. So stay tuned for that. And guys, Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit a thumbs up on this video if you liked our content. And guys, we would love to hear from you. If you have any questions about camping at Elijah Clark or camping in general or getting your kids outside, we'd love to hear from you. Drop something in the comments below or hit us up at our website at www.campoutside.com or on all of our other social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Guys, we do free gear giveaways here at Kemp Outside, so if you want free gear, check out this video right here that details all the information about how you can win free gear from Kemp Outside. Free camping gear, free hiking gear, free fishing gear. We love giving away stuff to help you get outside. Guys, we release new videos all the time on YouTube. We're producing videos as fast as we can to get stuff out to you like campsite and campground reviews, how-to videos, gear reviews, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned to our channel. We're producing content all the time, so be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We will see you next time on Camp Outside. Mm -hmm.